Hello everyone, do you have a modem at home with no wireless access point or have a old router with weak wireless signal strength and have a spare Raspberry Pi at home then I'm going to show you with quick easy step on how to configure your Raspberry Pi as a wireless access point or a repeater. A small disclosure, I'm using a pre-configured Dialpy Linux for this tutorial. If you're new to Dialpy, please check the top right corner of the screen or the link in the description on how to install and configure Dialpy Linux for your Raspberry Pi. With that cleared out, let's dive in. A few things to look out for is first go to the network adapters and ensure that the if you're using an onboard Wi-Fi uh, chip on your Raspberry Pi, uh, ensure that the onboard Wi-Fi is on. If you're using an external dongle, for example, you're having Raspberry Pi 2, 1, then you have to use a Wi-Fi dongle, then this is uh, turned on. At the same time, once you turn on onboard Wi-Fi, you have to go ahead and reboot the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you have to save the settings and reboot. And that once that's done, now uh, you have to do a very basic configuration. Go to browse software and look out for Wi-Fi hotspot. So uh, let me just quickly search for that. Uh, yeah. You see the item 60 Wi-Fi hotspot, just enable that, tab and click OK. You should verify if you have the Wi-Fi adapter active and at the same time Ethernet port of your Raspberry Pi is connected to your uh, modem or your, res uh, or your router. And you can see that uh, all the uh, checks have passed. Uh, all you have to do now is go and install and this should enable the hotspot mode on your Raspberry Pi and it's as simple as that. Once this is done, uh, I would suggest you go back to the DiPi config and on your Wi-Fi interface you would see now like the hotspot active. I'll, once this configuration is done, I'll quickly explain what you have to do next. Okay, now that uh, it's almost done with the installation, go ahead and uh, go back to the config, uh, search for a DiPi config and adapters. Now you see that under Wi-Fi, you're seeing the hotspot mode. Tap on that, and first thing you need to do is the SSID on the key. Again, I'm going to uh, keep the SSID the same. Just uh, change the, uh, you know, the key to Freshnet. Okay, I'm having some sort of under voltage issue here on my Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure why, but okay, the password is Freshnet at one two three four. I'm going to save all changes and restart the networking. I would suggest that once you're done with all this, reboot your Raspberry Pi just to ensure that everything is uh, properly configured and safe because there might be few changes would, which would need an actual OS reboot. So yeah, it's configuring uh, all the settings which I just saved. Uh, we'll give it a minute or two. It's uh, acquiring the IP. Okay. I'm not sure why, but I'm seeing a lot of under voltage issue. Okay. So with all that done, I'm going to go ahead and reboot and resume back once it's completed. Okay. So my Raspberry Pi is all up and running. Let me log in. Yep. So um, it has acquired the IP. Now I'm going to switch to my computer and try to connect to my Raspberry Pi hotspot and uh, check if it actually works. Okay, I've uh, quickly switched to my Windows and let me see. look. Yep. Uh, I have the Dial Pi hotspot here. Uh, let me quickly enter the password. It's present at one two three four. Uh, click next and let's see if it works. Yep, it has connected. Now for the best option is to come in prompt and try to ping Google. Oh man. And as you can see, it works. It's able to ping Google. It's as simple as that. So if you like 
the content which I make on this YouTube channel. Show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Hey.